finally, it has appeared. Starship version 2 has been officially unveiled at Starbase. What could be more exciting than an already powerful beast being further empowered to become a completely new entity promising to dominate the universe? So, how does Starship version 2 look? What are its standout features compared to Starship V1? And how did Elon react? Let's find out on today's episode of Alpha Tech. Starship Block 2, often referred to as Version 2, is SpaceX's next major revision of the Starship launch vehicle. As early as the end of 2023, Starship V2 became a hot topic in the space community. But at that time, we mainly knew them through 3D renderings and rocket hardware links, with the specific design of the new Starship still being a mystery. However, recently we were surprised to see that for the first time in an intact nose cone of Starship Block 2 being brought into the Mega Bay in preparation for stacking into a complete second stage rocket. Close up images from Starship Gazer have shown us that the parts being prepared for stacking are indeed Starship 33. Oh my goodness, this is truly amazing. Finally, the design of Starship V2 has gradually become clear. Thank you, LaPadre and Starship Gazer, for these fantastic images. Thanks to them, we have a more direct view of the changes between Block 1 nose cone and the Block 2 nose cone. Looking at these images, we can see a distinct difference. First, we do not see the six lifting hooks on the tip of the nose cone in Block 2, like in Version 1. And there also appear to be no lifting connections for the chopsticks. There have been previous indications that the lifting points are shifting lower on the Starship, so it's not surprising. The new forward flaps for the Block 2 Starship appear to be quite different from the current design. They're more streamlined and angled, no longer having a bottom edge parallel to the ground when deployed. This new shape likely improves aerodynamics during re-entry and controlled descent. As of now, this change has been discussed for three years, with Elon mentioning the redesign of the forward flaps back in 2021. Forward flaps will change a lot in upcoming versions of Starship, smaller and more leeward. A major change is the thickness of these new flaps, which are reportedly about half as thick as the current generation. This significant reduction in thickness will lead to a substantial decrease in mass, which is crucial for spacecraft design. Lighter flaps mean less overall weight, potentially allowing for more load carrying capacity. Accompanying these are new aerodynamic body fairings that narrow the gap between the flaps and the nose cone. This change could further improve the spacecraft's aerodynamic properties by reducing drag and turbulence in this area. Furthermore, the distribution of heat shield tiles has changed, providing more protection for the leeward nose and less for the leeward side of the flaps. This change likely reflects SpaceX's ongoing optimization process based on data from previous flights. SpaceX's addition of more thermal protection tiles to the leeward downwind side of the nose suggests that they have identified this area as experiencing higher heat loads than previously anticipated. This could be due to complex airflow patterns during reentry, possibly causing unexpected hotspots. Therefore, the increase in thermal protection tiles aims to better protect this critical area from the intense heat of atmospheric reentry. Additionally, the decision to reduce tile coverage in the areas leeward of the flax is equally significant. This proves that SpaceX has effectively managed the redistribution of the tiles based on actual heat exposure data. By doing so, SpaceX can optimize the spacecraft's weight, potentially improving payload capacity or fuel efficiency. Another unusual discovery is a new cowbell-shaped cover towards the nose on the leeward side of the Starship, representing an intriguing modification to the spacecraft's design. However, we don't yet know its true purpose. It could serve as a thruster or a vent. If it is a thruster, it might be part of an enhanced reaction control system, RCS, providing more precise control during various phases. If it is a vent, it could be related to pressure management or thermal regulation within the nose cone section. What do you think about this? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Even small details like flat panels are designed to be sleeker, reflecting SpaceX's comprehensive effort to optimize Starship's weight and performance. Honestly, these new upgraded designs may not fully convey the tremendous development of Starship, but Elon has directly confirmed this by stating this is an important design improvement. And I am sure that this version of the spacecraft can completely change how SpaceX succeeds in Starship's reentry process and potentially create new definitions of space travel. Besides the new nose cone, we also discovered that a payload section of Starship V2 is rolled into the Mega Bay, ready for stacking activities. It also features upgrades compared to the first version of Starship. The most noticeable change is the height of the barrel section, which is now three rings tall instead of the previous five rings. 
Looking more closely at the inside of the barrel section, we can see a denser layout of internal stringers. This modification may have resulted from lessons learned during flight tests and structural testing, suggesting a need for additional reinforcement. These stringers appear to have a solid design rather than being perforated, raising the question of whether this increases the ship's weight or if considerations about weight might lead to another approach to compensate for this. Looking down at the payload section, the cuts for the final door are positioned at the top of a ring joint instead of on a solid ring as in the version 1 design. This could indicate a shift in the door's position on the spacecraft, either higher or lower. We can also see that there's a shift from an angular design in the old version to a more rounded shape in the new design. Lastly, a large hole is observed in the middle of the cargo bay, similar in size and shape to the pressure relief vent holes on tank sections. Overall, Starship V2 is getting closer to us, and it won't be long before it's fully stacked. What's your prediction? Will it be completed in half a month or longer? Please leave your comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks! While the basic Starship's width remains at 9 meters, there will certainly be changes in height. In the presentation at the beginning of 2024, we might see data showing that Starship V2 will be 1.8 meters taller than Starship V1. This corresponds with what Elon said about this new version, which will contain more fuel, exhibit a reduced dry mass, i.e. the weight of the rocket without the payload, and demonstrate improved overall reliability based on the changes we've just analyzed. So what about the booster? If the new version of Starship we've just seen is Ship 33, which Super Heavy is it going to fly with? Yes, that's Booster 15, currently being stacked in Mega Bay 1. The booster is expected to be 1.3 meters taller than the V1 version. There's no additional information about changes in the engine version of this booster. This means Booster 15 still uses the Block 1. About three Raptor engines, if we consider them necessary for Starship V2, it seems they are still a long way off. But we can't deny that SpaceX always makes breakthroughs and surprises us, so there could still be exceptions. Ship 33 needs time to complete, and it could be the first prototype test for Raptor 3. Indeed, Raptor 3 is one of the most anticipated rocket engines of all time. Raptor 3 will boast higher specific impulse compared to the previous version, generating 20% more thrust and being reliable enough to eliminate the need for a heat shield. Removing the engine heat shield could significantly reduce the mass. The current Raptor 2 engine provides 230 tons of thrust, while the upcoming Raptor 3 is expected to provide around 269 tons of thrust, showing an improvement of up to 17%. It's speculated that the new engines are so powerful that they don't need shielding at all. Shedding the heat shield signifies a streamlined image, optimized to withstand searing temperatures and pressures without leaks. This strategic upgrade aims to sidestep engine failures, reduce excess weight, and enhance engine gimbal flexibility. This could be a significant cost savings for future prototypes. In general, the emergence of Starship V2 has marked a new milestone on SpaceX's future path. With the capabilities of the new version, it'll certainly significantly enhance performance and accomplish even greater goals. While some enhancements have been hinted at, there's a promise of more revelations on the horizon. SpaceX seems pressed for an official version to undertake critical missions like lunar landings and the ultimate goal of getting to Mars. The anticipation for Starship V2 is palpable. Following the sequence of test flights, including the second one, SpaceX gears up for subsequent missions where the spotlight might shine on a more robust Starship V2. With this upgraded iteration, carried dreams and aspirations in space exploration are going to soar, carrying the collective hopes of both SpaceX and humanity into a realm where numerous obstacles await. That's all for today's episode. Thanks for watching and see you next time.